first ever Technically Katie. If you're like, what the heck is Technically Katie all about? Well, let me tell you. Technically Katie showcases the latest and greatest in tech, interviews with some of the top innovators and entertainers, also a peek behind the curtain in my world of what it's like to test out gadgets for some of the top TV shows. And of course, you'll be joining me on the road in what I like to call around the world in Katie days. So let's do this, episode one. What do we got going on? First off, an interview with my friend and world-renowned ventriloquist, Terry Fader. Next up, I'm taking you out to the Hudson River where I'm testing out a folding kayak for the Weather Channel. Then we have a little fun TSA style. It's possible, just trust me and bear with. And last but certainly not least, how about a giveaway, Funko Pop style, Game of Thrones. Technically, Katie, it starts right now. You might recognize my first guest, Terry Fader. He won America's Got Talent in 2007, and it has just been uphill from there. He is now on a 10-year, $100 million contract at the Mirage right on the Las Vegas Strip. P.S. That contract just got renewed. He does over 200 impressions, and I just have to say, he's one amazing individual. Welcome in to Technically Katie, Terry Fader. She totally knows people. So what voice do you want to do for the final song? Hi, ho, Colonel Keith Rock here. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Your puppets have been evolving so much structurally. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. But you're a techie. And what is your favorite puppet right now? And, and is there kind of a exciting tech component that has been added recently that you like? There has. And and what I do is I have several different people that make my puppets. And and I'm I'm my favorite is who whatever I'm I'm having made at the same time. But I found this guy named Chance Wolf. And I have some amazing puppet makers and, and the top in the world. I have the same people who make the Muppets make my soft, most Ooh. of my soft figures. P.S. TV time out. Are you allowed to say about Kermit? Yeah. What about Kermit? Well, because you do the voice for Kermit. You're like, I do. But like professionally. Oh, no. I, I, you, you the backup I auditioned for, for it. Auditioned I auditioned for, for it. And I, I they told me I came in like second or third for the voice of Kermit. I knew there was And I think there. the only reason I didn't get it, um, I, I probably would have gotten it had I not had the Mirage contract. But I'll take the Mirage contract. I, 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 love, I would love to do the voice of Kermit, but I have the Mirage. Darn it. I have a 10-year, <laughs> $100 million deal at the Mirage. <laughs> Life is just hard, man. <laughs> it's no, tough. No, and you're such a gracious individual. I'm teasing you. We're going to come back to that for a second, but because you do so many other things in addition to this dynamic show at the Mirage, but puppets. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, so I, I hire the best puppet makers in the world, which is probably my favorite thing about the kind of success that I've had is that my my creativity does not have the shackles of poverty on them which they used to. I used to come up with all these great ideas and I just didn't have the money to implement them because I can't, cr I can't, arts and crafts time failed, failed. Uh, now, English uh, writing composition and poems and songs, Strong. I was, I was, yeah, but I just can't, I can't draw a stick figure. So I can't, I tried building my puppets and they look like monsters. So I, I did, I gave it up. Um, but I found this guy named Chance Wolf at the Ventriloquist Convention about four years ago. There's a Ventriloquist yes, Convention? Yes, there's a Ventriloquist Convention in Cincinnati, Ohio. And if you're a ventriloquist or a puppeteer, I highly recommend it. They, they do all kinds of cool uh, workshops and they have the professional ventriloquist come in and perform. And But you <laughs> went and found this dude. I did, yes, yes. So I found this guy named Chance Wolf who is a, he actually started uh, as a building um, uh, illusions for professional ventrilo I mean, for professional magicians. Mm. So he would build these elaborate illusions and all these things with, and he decided he wanted to go into puppet making. So um, he's astounding. I mean, he made my Michael Jackson puppet, which is unbelievable. Mm. Look it up. You'll you can see my Michael Jackson, the Sammy Davis Jr. that you saw. You can look that up. Uh, the Justin Bieber puppet he made, and the Justin Bieber has. And this was an illusion he created himself. And he he called me about two two and a half years ago. 
And he said, I have this idea, I wanna give it to you if you're interested. I wanna create a puppet that has a devil and an angel that can appear on their shoulder. And I said, I'm in, I'm in, let's do it, let's do it. You know, so, uh, and the beautiful thing is we were able to talk about it. He figured out how to do this. So I have this Justin Bieber puppet that Dolly Parton pops up on his left shoulder as his angel, and Ozzy Osbourne pops up on his right shoulder. Oh, and I see. it's amazing, it's so cool. So he, does he take on these projects like one at a time just for you to custom build? Yes. I mean, imagine they take months. They do, and 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 the idea we've come up with my, for my 11th anniversary, I just celebrated my 10th year at the Mirage. My 11th anniversary is gonna even outdo everything we've done in the past. It's incredible. I'm That's not even gonna say it. You're gonna have to come and see it. But you're always implementing. You're all, always. The shows are always fresh, always new. There's a Christmas show. Now you have a new show that I haven't even seen that I have to come see. Like that, you're passionate about it. And I, I think am. It shows. I am. Am. And and you know the interesting thing is I don't do it for the money. I don't do it for the fame. Couldn't care less. The money's fine. Don't worry. I enjoy having the money. Yeah. It's really nice uh, to have that. But I do it for the love of the craft and for my fans. I want to create the best experience. That wherever you come, I have people come it from shows. all over the world to see me in Las Vegas. And I have actually been in the call centers when they will cut, they say, hey, come, we, we're talking to this person and this person is planning an entire vacation around when they can come and see my show. And I consider that the greatest honor that I could possibly have. And so I don't, I take that very seriously. I don't discount that at all. I do it for the love of my fans. I wanna make sure that they are seeing the best, the most innovative. I, my puppets are, are the most innovative, the most creative, they're beautiful, and they're made by the best people in the world because that's what, that's the commitment I have to my fans. Thank you so much to Terry Fader for that interview. If you're in Vegas, you absolutely must check out Terry's show. It is beyond mind blowing. It's at the Terry Fader Theater, reminder at the Mirage. Okay, let's talk gadget testing because you can't talk technically Katie without talking tech. And I wanna kinda of show you a little behind the scenes. This is a gadget that I was testing for the Weather Channel. It is Oru and it is a folding origami kayak. I'll test it out on the Hudson, come along. Katie Lennendahl here with Anton Willis who is the designer and founder of, check this out, this is Oru Kayak. There's a kayak inside here. It's based off of origami. It's 20 pounds. It's not even heavy. We're gonna get to that, but Anton, we gotta talk about the deeds because this is pretty nuts. You have done it. This is your <laughs> fifth iteration. We can't even tell you a name. We're getting a little bit of a sneak peek. Yeah. But it's all about a portable, compact kayak that is great for the family, or in this case, maybe even just yourself for your own little adventure. Absolutely. So as you can see, it's super portable. Um, it folds up from one seamless sheet of plastic, just like a piece of paper. Uh, it weighs under 20 pounds and uh, it sets up in just a few minutes. I like that you are the founder and also the designer. So I had to go and I've saved all my questions till we were legitimately filming. Is there an engineering background in there? Or... I am an architect by training. Architect. So adjacent, but not exactly. How did you go into the world of kayaks? This is your fifth one. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Originally, it was just something I loved doing. Um, I had a kayak in the Bay Area and loved just going out on San Francisco Bay. And it was, at one point, I moved into a studio apartment in San Francisco and had to put my kayak in storage. And then I read this magazine article about origami and about artists and scientists and engineers who were doing all of these incredible things with it. Uh, so that just got me thinking, is there a way I could make a, a kayak that would fold up like a piece of paper? I saw, when I was doing my homework on you guys, that somebody paddled from Cuba to the US. That's right, What's yeah. the backstory there? <laughs> So yeah, that was uh, that was one of our employees who uh, who did that with some other people, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was uh, yeah, it took more than forty eight hours in that period. That's it. It's not bad though. I mean, yeah. you get a couple snacks. He didn't tell me that it's only a solo. I thought we were kayaking oh, together. Yeah. So now I'm coming for a surprise, which I'm totally up for. All right, yeah. shall we go for it? Let's Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. All right. this way of thinking that how a kayak should be and it's a it's a rigid sturdy vessel it's what we're used to again I think just materials and technology and, and adventuring and the outdoors have changed yeah it's just kind of being redefined and but you, you're hesitant at first because yeah. of what you know yeah, totally that's rad yeah that yeah. is rad I'm <laughs> sorry. 
<laughs> it was like an, it was an army rollout. <laughs> yeah. For the usual, it has been an eventful few weeks around the world in Katie Days, and there's been some TSA gems, might I add. Nothing was stronger than this woman that took an entire sheet cake through TSA, put this baby up on social, it just blew up, so I thought I would share it here as well. But then also on the flip side, gotta ask, gotta ask, are any of you like Alicia in the sense that you have to drink every ounce of water or beverage before you take it through TSA because you don't wanna be wasteful? I respect it. I truly respect it. Have a look. Okay, how many of you are like Alicia before we get on the flight? She's before we go through TSA, she has to chug every water that she has left in her bag. Look at her. Look at her go. Chug. Chug. This is our version of chug. <laughs> we can get more. <laughs> and then she goes. <sighs> and it. You better not throw that water away. <laughs> Saving the planet. He's losing it, people. I don't think she's gonna make it. I don't think she's gonna. Oh, she, 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 she makes it. She makes it. And then, that I'm was it. Spike it like up in the end zone. She's gonna make it. If you think that's bad, I legitimately, this one time, this is real talk, I saw a guy chugging a full gallon of milk. Like, I don't know where he got a gallon of milk, but I watched it go down. All right, moving on. Last but certainly not least, to wrap up the first episode of Technically Katie, we do it with a little giveaway, Funko Pop style and Game of Thrones. If you're missing Game of Thrones, well, you could win a Jon Snow and also a ghost Funko Pop. Here's what you do. Just comment below and tag somebody that loves Game of Thrones, and I will pick a winner in a week. Make sure you are both following me. Awesome stuff. Thank you for tuning in to Technically Katie. As I always say, stay tuned and chowski. Mm -hmm.